Good morning from day 26. We have a change. I was going to say big, but it's not that big. A change of plans that might be happening today. We're just seeing if everything can still work out. So this is going to be a bit of a shock um, if it all works out. If not, it'll just be a little change, but I'll keep you posted. Welcome to day 26. We're still walking. Still talking. Barely. <laughs> um, I'm Sunshine. And I'm Captain. And last night I actually slept really well. You are sleeping remarkably well in the tent. When we get done with this hike, we're going to have to get you a tent and just put you out on the deck of the boat and you can sleep in it. Fine. What do you think? Amazing idea. We're going to have to get you idea. a quieter mattress though. So you guys... I had wipe out 8,000 last night and we just went to check it on the camera and apparently when I fell, I hit the record button on the camera and you get just me like picking up my phone and stuff. Um, wasn't, I'm, ooh, I'm winded already. It wasn't the best idea to be, I didn't have my headlamp on. I put it on after that, but we were almost to camp and I was just like, uh, not feeling like it. Ooh, that first out of the gate. Are you winded? No, not really. Ooh, guys. So, we have a surprise for you today. So we're not gonna tell you how many miles we're going. We can't keep it a surprise for very long, but let's see. Plans change is what I can say, and this is a good change. It took a couple hours of me being awake in the middle of the night to figure out how to make this all work, but I figured it out. Oh, you know what? I taped you snoring on the phone last night. No, well, I taped you snoring. <laughs> I'm gonna play it back for everyone, sure. since you say I'm the only one who snores. All right, guys. Let's do this day. Um, yeah, let's go. On the road, I've been away for far too long. But now I'm on my way back home. I hear the west winds calling. I'm my name. They're telling me to head your way. Down your road and past your gate. Keep your eyes on the horizon I was looking to belong when I'd already found my home So when a trail meets another trail, depending on the state, each state does it differently, there is signs. And so Largo and I, last night, almost went this away, which was not where our shelter was because it was dark. But we reread, double check yourself on these trails, guys. And we're like, okay, wait a minute. It's not that way. It's this away to the shelter. If you can figure that out. Anyway. I'm giving you a hint about the big surprise today. This is an example of what those amazing volunteers that we saw yesterday with the chainsaw do. They go through the trails and if there's a tree that's down, they saw it up, they move it out of the way so that the rest of us can enjoy our hike and not have to climb over it. They really are magic on this trail. So sometimes on the trail you get these steps that are clearly man-made, woman-made, someone came out here and put these in and built them and they're really convenient. Probably a volunteer as well. So I can tell you from this experience that when we are in the United States after this hike for another six months for Largo to get his private pilot's license, we will likely be on the East Coast and we're gonna come and do trail magic. Um, for sure. Like, I, I, I can't imagine not doing it. Now the question is, where should we do it? Help us out. Where do you think 
is the place that needs the trail magic the most. That's the most neglected area. If you're a hiker and you're desperate and you come out of the spot and you need trail magic, it's not there. All right, are you chomping at the bit to find out what the change of plans are? It's not that we're stopping, but we are stopping today. So the idea was to go through all the Smokies and then come out on the other end and Largo would do his weekly school and I would work. Um, we misgaged the Smokies and how hard they are a bit. And so we are not gonna make it the 36 miles in two days to get to his class. Um, I can work any day of the week, but his classes are kind of specific. So, we, we didn't want to lose time on the trail. Um, and he's getting towards the end of his academic year, so it's getting a little more intense. We knew these first five weeks on the trail would be hard with balancing school. And that we'd have to kind of ebb and flow as things unfolded. So, what we have decided to do is to get off at Newfound Gap and have Will, who we haven't seen in almost a month. We were gonna see him on Wednesday night or Thursday morning, but now we're gonna see him today, which is Tuesday, and we're gonna go back to his Airbnb in Damascus, and then Largo and I, so we don't lose a day, we are gonna slack pack that area tomorrow, and then when we get to that area, on our northbound through hike we'll just skip it and shuttle around it and then and friday we'll work until school and saturday i don't know what we're going to do saturday we may come back he had he he t runs his dungeons and dragons groups on saturday morning so i don't know if we'll do a half day but we'll come back to newfound gap and get back on the trail where we left off um some other we had thought about trying to just really push through those 36 miles, but so far I don't think we've had more than a 13 mile day on the Smokies. And once we get past Newfound Gap, it's really difficult to get off. Um, and we would need to resupply anyway and recharge our stuff. So we'd probably have to get off here anyway and go into town and do that. So we just kind of moved our schedule around a little bit and now we get to see Will. In the lifestyle that we've chosen, we've had to be really flexible and kind of embrace the change or the spontaneous change. And so I messaged Will at four in the morning. I said, hey, do you think you can take the morning off and come get us? And I didn't have Wi-Fi, so I had hoped it went out. And it finally went out, I guess around 5.30, because I got a message and I got Wi-Fi back saying, I got in the car at 6.15, I'm on my way. He is going to go to hike in and pick up our computers because that's where we had last left them with Sandy. And then he's gonna come get us. And then we're gonna go back to his Airbnb. And when I was figuring this out, I happened to go look at the weather report and it's supposed to rain for the next five days. So a good time to get off, do school, slack pack, um, all that kind of stuff. So that is the update. Um, does anyone have any questions or thoughts or comments on it? I was looking to belong when I'd already know that you would be there when the rains had gone. Like a light in the night, you will always be my home. So Largo has gone ahead of me on the trail and he's going to go all the way up to meet Will. Um, it's a couple of miles and I want to give him freedom on the trail uh, when it makes sense. Uh, to go and go at his own pace and feel what his body's made of. When we hiked in Spain, him and his sister were, I don't know how old they were, nine and 12 maybe, maybe a little bit younger. And we would let them go ahead together for you know miles at a time and then wait for us at a coffee shop. And they really liked that and they felt empowered and capable and competent and all the, all the, 
all the good words. So I have said to him, go ahead, go ahead today and do that, which he's really excited about. Will's editing the vlogs and he says to me, did you ever tell our backstory? <laughs> you promised everyone that. And I'm like, oh no, I forgot. So there's a lot of backstories. The backstory of Will and I, maybe he can post the link around here someplace. Um, that's a pretty long backstory. And I think, I don't know if I wanna take two hours to tell it to you guys here. Um, and you probably don't wanna listen for two hours. The backstory, because a lot of people are asking on the trail, and a lot of people ask on social media of how we came to be that we haven't lived in the United States for 10 years. So I'm gonna give you the short version. Let's see if I can do this in like two, maybe three minutes or less. We left the United States in 2014 because of our children. We wanted three things and our why um, for doing it was we wanted them to learn about the world out in the world from its people on the grounds. We wanted to create a deeper bond as a family and also between the siblings. And we wanted to spend time and money making memories over buying stuff. We left the United States. We spent one year in Costa Rica. We spent nine months in Ecuador, 10 months in the south of France. And then we bought an RV and RV'd around Europe for almost three years with a goal to visit every country in Europe, and we did. Not every country in the RV, because some we had to take an airplane to. Uh, after that, our plan was to spend a year in Asia. Each person in the family had to do research and pick three countries that they wanted to spend one month in each. And Avalon and Largo wanted, or Avalon and Captain, wanted to take all of their six months, three and three each, and spend it in Japan because they love Japan. And we said, no, we got to broaden our horizons. Well, as life may have it, we stopped in Japan first for one of their months and COVID happened and we were there for five months. And so that kind of put the end to our staying in Asia for a year um, adventure. And we hold French visas, so we went back to France and Avalon said, well, we're not gonna do well just being cooped up in an apartment. We need a project. And so we decided that we would buy a little house and renovate it and kind of show the kids how to do that because we had dabbled in that before we left the United States as a side hustle. And a boat came up for sale, came across our Facebook feed. And that was always kind of our end game was to learn to sail. So we bought the first boat we saw. We took the next year of COVID learning to sail. And then we sailed from France to the Balearics, Portugal, Canary Islands, across the ocean to Martinique, through the Panama Canal, amazing experience, in Mexico. And then in June, we got off the boat. We still have the boat, we still are going back to the boat, but we felt like we weren't accomplishing our why of why we started this. In the meantime of all this, Avalon launched off to university. She's a sophomore in university in the United States. And, and we miss her terribly. And we went and did some, some, some travel in Southeast Asia, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, India. And then we'd spent a month in Spain and we host group travel trips. So we were hosting trips all along the way there. And then we spent four months in Paris and now you are caught up to present day. And I know this is gonna come up about how we make money. And it's gonna to be too long for this vlog, but I will say, I will share it in another vlog. We do work. We work more than 40 hours a week. That's why it's a real challenge for me to only work 20 on the trail and Will is picking up the slack and then we've outsourced some. So we are not rich. Um, we work hard. We are very frugal. We've taught our kids to be very frugal. And that's kind of the backstory of the last 10 years from a physical location standpoint. That will catch everyone up to why we're, like why we, when someone asks us where we're from, we're like, we're born in the United States, but we, you know, we're from all over. Um, and so we're doing this trail, which will probably take us about six months. And Largo wants to be a pilot. So one of the goals that he has is to get his private pilot's license before he goes to college. So we will remain in the United States for six months 
after um, we're done the trail so he can get his private pilot's license. And then he still has um, another year and a half after that with us. And so we will get back on the boat and most likely sail to French Polynesia because that's the goal. There were some people that were saying it was a mistake and that we're ruining our lives and ruining our kids' lives and ruining our earning potential in our best years. And it was by far the best, the best decision we've ever made in our life. It's interesting. It looks like some sort of a fence maybe between properties. I'll have to find out more about it that I'm supposed to walk over, I'm assuming. Hopefully I don't get electrocuted on here. All right. Very interesting. You know, my poles get stuck in things. It's like, they're alive and they're pulling on me. One almost took me out this morning. I had my pole so tight that I almost fell on my nose. So guys, I am gonna see Will in 30 minutes. He's just picked up the computers. I think I might beat him down there and be waiting for him. So there are a lot of you here who, here who have been following us and been part of this World Towning community for a very long time. And you know Will, you know what a just good guy he is, um, how fun he is, how adventurous he is, how kind he is. And he's really freaking hot. I refer to him as the hot Latino. He's Cuban American. So from now on, I'm gonna be referring to him as a hot Latino. I'm really excited for those of you who are new here to get to know him over the next couple of days. We're not gonna vlog every waking moment because we do have work and school and reconnection to do. Um, but I think that even in the little bit that we vlogged, your vlog this weekend, this week, whatever, you guys are gonna see why he is definitely my better half. And there was a time where I thought people or I was required to be married and have kids and it felt like such a foreign concept to me, like to commit myself to one person for my entire life. I can't imagine anyone that interesting and that fun and that charming and that everything. And then I met Will and I'm pausing because he takes my breath away and also these hills take my breath away and there's a hill coming. And what's happening with him is he is staying in Airbnbs along the way for a month at a time so that he, we can see him. Um, I wouldn't want to go without seeing him for six months or even two months. We hadn't even planned to go a month. We didn't plan to go this long, but the, it was taking us to get further north, longer than we thought it would. And I don't think that Largo should be away from his dad for that long. So we're making it work. It's not ideal, um, but it's working. It's working so far. And I'm so, I'm so happy to see him today. I cannot wait, you guys. There's dad. Can we hold the camera? I gotta go make out with him. Um. <laughs> I want to kiss girls. <laughs> and you don't smell. That's not true. <laughs> Give me your real kiss. I do smell. No, you don't. I do. Not so much. <laughs> do you want to give Lago out? Oh, die, Lago. Do you want to give Lago out? Daddy Huggy. <laughs> oh. You look fit. I do? Yep. You can't tell me that's not your father, right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's your mom. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling you guys, I have the best, the best, the best man in my life. He brought fruit with him. I brought, I didn't know what to bring. Oh my gosh. Blueberries, blackberries, <laughs> some bananas which got crushed, unfortunately. I may not get back on the trail if you continue treating me this way. <laughs> I mean, I went to the store yesterday, so. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Ooh, I'm a hiker, pig. Oh my God, this is so good. Yum. Largo, how's yours? Amazing. I've had no sugar the entire time that you guys have been gone. You want a bite? No. Feeling <laughs> like life is good, life is good, yeah.
So this is Will's house for the month. Country cottage. Ship country cottage. It's awesome. <gasps> hi, Sentry! <gasps> hi! Oh, hi, baby! Oh, she missed me, look. Margo. Oh my gosh. You know what she's gonna be like? You guys, well, she's probably, how do you turn these lights on? She's been bathed, her bathed herself. And she's like, ooh, you stinky people holding me. <gasps> Hi, oh. Mm, I Mr. I think I'm getting more kisses than Will did. She looks so happy. Do you want to hold her, Largo? <laughs> okay, Largo. I don't think she wants to be. Largo, she does, I can tell, feel her. Do you want her? Oh, oh she's not trying to get down. Remember us? Mm. All right, she's trying to get down. <laughs> Sentry, we missed you, you little She's like, muffin. that's enough love. She's like, that bag smells, everything smells. Oh wow, that bed looks comfortable. <gasps> it looks so nice. Oh, I don't care if you make the bed. <laughs> oh, Sentry, are you using your scratching post? Hi! How are you? I missed you. <gasps> oh, this is where I'm gonna be tonight. Oh my gosh. Right in front of that fireplace. Hi, Sentry. This is now turning into a cat vlog. Oh, she's done. I'm done with you. She said you stunk, Largo. <laughs> she's like, pee -hoo -hoo -hoo. Good evening from day 26. Look at us, we're wearing different clothing. We're clean, we're new people. Today we went, I'm half asleep already, and we're in a bed. Oh my God, it's so comfy. We went from Mount Collins to Newfound Gap. We went, how many miles did we go? 5.2 miles. Not that bad. No, I mean, that was a low day, but. It's a pretty low day. I'm wondering what the difference is between a Nero, a zero, and more than a Nero. Yeah. What I qualifies as more than a Nero? A zero, I know a zero means zero, right? And a Nero is nearly any miles, but where's the cutoff? And then what does it mean if you hike all day, like 20 miles, you sleep in a bed in like a hostel or something, and then you hike another 20 miles the next day? It's just a regular day. <laughs> That's just a regular Except for day. You, get a, you get a nice I think bed. that might be called a platinum blaze. But I think you know, it's only called a platinum if you're doing it every night. Like we, we've only done that a couple times. All right. Um, I digress. Best and worst. I would honestly say my best is, is number one, having the cat here. <gasps> and Will, Hello. yay! I don't even know if you're in the camera. The best is the cat and the, come in here, and the, cat. And the will, yay. Hello. And we also had some trail magic today and Will brought us lots of fruit when he picked us up and you made That's us a yummy dinner. Personalized trail magic. And you took off all my KT, is it called KT tape? Yeah. You took all my KT tape With off. With love. Me. With love. Well, there was a lot of good today. I don't have a worse. Do you have a worse from today, Largo? I honestly would say that I didn't have a worse. I had a lot of fun running down the hills. But other than that, no. You took a nice long nap in the car. Yep. I didn't take a nap. I know what Will's worse was. What was that? Driving to come get us. <laughs> Getting no. that text at six in the morning going, come get us. No, no. Well, you know what was worse? What's Largo that? and I farting in the car. That was pretty bad. <laughs> that was you. That was absolutely that, you. That, that was, was you too. Don't you that lie. that was during a call that I had. You had to work. And the windows were up. Or the client. we couldn't do anything. I know. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> those MREs give us gas. I hate those things. All right, guys. Um, so tomorrow, day 27, is we're going to slack pack. And I'm not going to tell you more about it now because it's going to be a surprise. We're going to slack pack tomorrow. So we will see you later. Thank you so much for watching us again. Don't forget to subscribe and good night. Bye. 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 Ready? We're going to do it that high. So I, I wasn't sure what we were going to do when I was awake at 4 a.m. because I don't sleep well ever. Um, I'm going to give him the biggest makeout session at Newfound Gap. It's going to be turning heads, so watch out. Does this look like the face of a platypus? Maybe? And that looks, I can't see how long I've been talking, but it looks like six minutes. Will's going to poop his pants when he sees this one. He's like, you just talked and talked and talked. I got so much stuff. Oh my gosh, popcorn. Um, we get a popcorn in front of the fireplace. I know, we have, we have everything for you. And what? Is that
here to me. I know you have oh, surprises. Oh, like everything. Are you kidding? <gasps> wow, it's like a family lives here. Oh, hummus, it is. <gasps> berries. Oh my gosh, bro. Well. <laughs> my turn. I get to spoil you. You're quite um, the hiker. This is gonna be really stinky. It's not so bad. Uh, oh, oh wow, God. you see that pile of <laughs> dust come off that? <laughs> and I just put these clean oh socks on this morning. What day is it? Is today the, was the 26th? Was today the 26th day? Yes, today was 26th. And we're, we're losing count of days today. So, oh my gosh. This is, oh, vlog central. Oh my gosh. What are you feeling right now? Do you miss the tent? <laughs> Maybe, slightly. Century is sniffing my feet. She's right now, she's like, you stink, you stink.